A police chase Saturday night ended with the death of two teenagers in Fruitland. News Channel 7's Hector Mendoza was at the scene of that crash today and spoke with the mother of one of those teenagers. I'm on the corner of Elmore Road and Highway 30 where a car entered this canal and the lives of a 19 and 16 year old were lost. Highway 30, a road Andrea Ellis and her family only take on occasion. I realized as I was driving out here today, I never actually take the exit unless we're getting ready to go to Hell's Canyon, which is a place we used to go camping a lot as a family. But now, unfortunately, this road leads Ellis to a sorrowful place. I never felt grief like this and like none of our family has, honestly. And so it's gonna be just different. I feel like each time we come here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be almost like a different feeling each time. And that's, it's a lot, it's a, it's a lot. It's gonna be heavy, really heavy. Ellis's daughter was involved in a police chase Saturday night that ended here with both Ellis's daughter and the 19-year-old driver dead. And the Payette County Sheriff's Office says this is not the way they wanted the chase to end. Yeah, our concern is always to bring the pursuit to a safe end um, where the vehicle stops and we're able to apprehend the driver of the vehicle. Police say the 19-year-old driver was speeding and turned off the car's headlights during the night chase. And it's really tragic that, that we didn't have an opportunity to do anything different to change the outcome. What makes it even harder for Ellis is that her daughter ran away and she hadn't seen her for over a month. We actually moved from Washington State um, because she was running away there too. She had a lot of things she was trying to run from inside instead of face and that's what led to her running a lot. When you go to sleep at night and you don't know where your baby is, you literally dream and like have nightmares of this exact moment happening. But Ellis says she feels fortunate to get the closure that many families in her position don't ever get. Some parents still have their kids missing and they've never got them home. So in a way, like I'll be thankful that I was given the opportunity to know where my baby left this earth. So to honor her daughter. She worked at Dairy Queen in Nampa. She went to Ridgeview High School. Like she was very loved and I want people who love her to be able to come and, and, and share that. Like when I say that she touched a lot of people's lives and like she was really loved, like it's such an understatement. Like she helped so many people through their hard times and they're just so sad that they weren't able to like successfully help her out of hers. Ellis and her family have a memorial at the crash site. Whenever we go camping now, we'll have to make sure we stop by here and, you know, give a little token of respect. We'll have an extra stop on every camping trip now. The family is going to hold a candlelight vigil later on tonight and will be joined by community members to mourn the loss of this young girl. From Fruitland, Hector Mendoza, Idaho's News Channel 7. Got wrenching. A GoFundMe is set up to help the family pay for funeral expenses and anything else that might come up. We have a link to that in this story on our website, ktvb.com.